What's good, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. Double A have here. This is part two of Are You a Simp? Now, if you watch part one already, then you already know this nigga in the middle here is a simp. Um, he he literally is just very subservient to his wife and acts like a little a little boy, like a lion cub, allows her to speak for him. Mind you, they're, they're both supposed to be pastors, um, and she's out here worshiping herself. A uh, self worshiper. You know, she wants to sit, claim that she's a worshiper of the Lord Savior Jesus Christ, but she is not. She is a fake. Um, she's being, um, you know, worked and working on behalf of uh, the devil. So, anyway, let's get to this one. Deal with it. He just let the Lord deal with it. Do you feel disappointed no, as a no, wife or a woman? No, 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 whatsoever, because he understands my relationship with the Lord. And I respect his relationship with the Lord. The understanding, the Lord. even if we but have... God gave um, him that responsibility to correct you so that you can overcome that hell and come into his heaven. And in, 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 in there will be times, let me tell you, if he knows that, like you say, I'm just all up in the air. Yeah. Say I'm all up in the air. Yeah. He'll, give me, he'll let that, the Lord deal with me to calm me down. And if it's something that was, did he really know? Yeah, this man, I feel, look, the, whole, the whole damn interview, she's been speaking for this man. And this guy's just been sitting here looking like this, like a big old fucking simp, man. It's, it's, it's a damn shame. It's a damn shame, bro. And again, if, if you find yourself in a position like this, brothers, get the fuck out of it. You're probably going to have to leave the woman. Um, because I highly doubt that she's just going to, you know give up the the the, the quote-unquote power and authority same thing with like the quote-unquote white people people think that you know they're they're going to give it up no they're not they're not you know they're not you shouldn't be surprised by quote-unquote acts of racism and shit like that you know like look people that have power and authority they're not they're not eager to give that shit the fuck up okay he had your ass to be like you know honey i think you know he'll come to me and sit down with me in a calm situation. Mm. You know, sometimes you can bring fuel to the fire if you come when you see someone already up in the air. And if they, especially if it's they up in the air about nothing. You're saying that that was given, you know, that responsibility was given to him to do that. Right, he takes all over where the father leaves off. You know, and my... And your, my your earthly father. My er, my earthly father, but you guess what? Don't, don't a lot of times our earthly fathers allow us to work through it. Uh, we know when to let them, let God deal with them and step back. See, he... I'm not sure if you guys noticed, but Jesse's pretty much equated the father of the, of the woman to the husband of the woman because that's a role that, that we play. When you marry your wife, um, if her father's in her life, her hand in marriage is given from from him to you, okay? Um, ownership of the woman is is passed that way. Um, you know, you don't believe me? Um, her, her last name is that of her father, and when she's married to you, is that of, of you. Your last name, right? So I'm not sitting here saying that you should look at women as property. I'm not saying that at all. Um, but what I am saying is that there is an inherent natural authority in, in the dynamic between men and women, especially husband and wife. I'm not sitting here saying that one is better than the other. What I'm saying is that we both have roles and parts to play that are integral to, to, to the survival of, of, our, of our people. Okay? And when we deviate from that, and when you put the woman in head, or at the head, then that's when you set yourself up for problems. And I know there's a lot of people, and, and I know there's a lot of dudes out there too, um, strangely enough, that were like, oh, well, no, that ain't the case, or, you know, that, that, or disagree, and, you know, all that bullshit. But you gotta understand something. Look at the black community. Like, don't get mad at me. Look at the fucking community. You know, they're, it's run by women. Oh, but that's because, you know, the men ain't in the house. Yeah, yeah. Listen, listen. Regardless of any of that, it's still being ran by them. And they're doing a shitty fucking job at it. 
shitty job. But will you ever see any anybody on TV freaking come out and freaking um, point the finger at the, the black woman for the uh, for for the issues of the black community? No, no, they'll point to the black man. Is it because they know that the black man ultimately is the issue? Because you know, if he was in charge, it wouldn't be as bad as it is, probably, or because they don't want to go against the the the, the divine feminine. It could be that too. It could be, it could be a mixture of both. Is our father? In but heaven. you, one last thing about that. Do you agree with me, both of you, that he is your Christ, right? No. Your what? husband is not your Christ. How can? That is not what <laughs> scripture. Christ is the head of everything. See, no matter. Is he the head of your wife? He's head of my wife. He's so head of everything. I, but you know everything. So but look, me, no matter how you twist it, how you turn it, but I know where we at. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So, you know, that's something you got to find out. We already know. And so the men and women <laughs> who are watching who want to know this, you, you can't tell them how. They just have, you, find are Christ. you saying that the find Christ. you have to find out? Okay. Find Christ. All right. Find Christ. <laughs> Both. Because the Bible said, again, and you should know the truth. And the truth should make you free. Right. A lot of people lost because they don't have that guidance. Yeah. And that guidance is the Holy Spirit. You are lost because you're following a woman. All right? That's why the hell you are lost, brother. Let me ask this. Both of you are pastors, right? Yes, we are. And who became a pastor first? We became pastors together. At the same time? Yes. Tell me about that. Well, back in um, Virginia, I know we was called um, to do ministry. And, um, and when God called me into to ministry, it was like, you know, we was there together. And I told her, I said, we're going to be here together, pastor in this church together, as the Holy God baptized us in the Holy Spirit together, you know, like a week apart. Um, and we start, you know, pursuing ministry. We start seeing God just move tremendously in ministry through us. So God called you, and then you called your mm -hmm. wife? Mm -hmm. No, I didn't call my wife. Did God call you the pastor? Or did you get information from him, from your husband? I'll answer that for you. No, God did not call her the pastor. Um... That's not that's not what what God does. God will allow the woman to be a messenger, but that or like a prophetess, but that's about as far as it goes. Um, they they can't teach the Bible one, and they have to learn from a man so that they 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 themselves cannot teach. So I I don't know what she's gonna I, I got an idea of what she's gonna say, but it's some bullshit. No no no. No, hold God, on, hold, God hold, hold, hold. dealt with him. God mm -hmm. dealt with him in, in the spirit right. to rise him up into office as a prophet and then as a, an apostle and a chief apostle. And in that process, when the Lord dealt with him, he started taking him down the road. I was always a praying woman. I was always a woman of God, but I did not know my call. Right. And so when God began to deal with him and began to elevate him into a position, God began to do the same for me. It started with him. No, probably what happened was is when you saw him elevating, you got envious. All right, and that's natural for, from women to be envious. So what probably happened was is you saw him elevating, and you got envious, and then you wanted to inject yourself into that, and you're like, well, fuck it, you know, if this nigga could do it, I could do, I could do it. And that's that's probably what happened, you know. That's me speculating, but I'm I'm pretty sure that's probably exactly what happened. He began to move. I'm talking about working in the anointing, learning and, and understanding and accepting who he is. And when he did that, I came following, understanding and going to God myself, mm -hmm. understanding that, that, Lord, what do you want me to do? And the Lord directed me, but he directed me and him growing and we was in different positions. What would have happened had you gone to your husband and you said, you know what? Honey, God called me too, and he want me to be a pastor as well. And he said, no, that's out of order, it's not of God. Would you have said, okay, fine, I won't do it? I'm, I, of course not, Jesse, come on now. I'll tell you exactly how, how it, when the Lord told him that we needed to open up a church and, and did, you know, um, I, I didn't, at that time, I wasn't ready. 
I was already ready. walking in the anointing and, and walking in my gift, but I wasn't ready to settle down to be a pastor. And do you know it took two years? It took two. You wasn't ready because you, you're not ready. You're never going to be ready. <laughs> well, uh, the Most High does not um, <clears throat> call women to be pastors. That's, that's not what he does. He, he gave women uh, their duty. You know, some things in life are just very simple, y'all. Two years. Pastor uh, uh, Maurice, a lot of men nowadays are married to women who are preaching and ministering and doing those kind of things. But what I'm hearing is that those women are very difficult to deal with because they... You don't say. <laughs> ...feel like a man. You know, they think they are as a man is and so a lot of relationships are not working out how should men handle women who think that they have been called by god and they'll try to be pastors and they are difficult to deal with what should the men do first of all they should go to god ask god and, ask and then god when to god said no they're not called show, by and him to show them and to show them her and that's what i had to do um because i can't say that she can't preach the word or teach the word i can't do that only God can. So, no. <laughs> all right, sir. And we have that connection. If God show her, I'm going to God and say, God, what did you show her? And God showed me what He showed her. And so that's how we came together. Is that in the scriptures? Yeah, you got prophets, women prophetess, women double. Prophetess. Yeah. Exactly. Yep. Yep. See, what I, I just said that. You have prophets, prophetess, Deborah. Yes, but they weren't pastors. And prophet is double and but is there anywhere in the scripture Maybe where God called women to be heads, mm -hmm. be preachers and pastors and ministers? I'm just asking. They, they could, they could be. Who, who was the first one that ministered to Jesus? No, I'm asking you. No, no, no. I'm asking you. Is there any, who's no, the first one ministered to Jesus? Back, you're my experts. Is that so in the scripture? Anybody? There's no one that's called man, by God. Greek or Jew. Do you hear me? Yeah, can you hear my it. question? Mm -hmm. Did you hear me? No, no. Did you hear me? I'm just saying. Do you understand the question that I'm asking? I understand the question. For the record, is uh, is there anywhere, Anita, in the scriptures where God called women to be pastors and preachers and teachers and all that? Well, they were in the they were in they are in scripture. They they are there as ministers. <laughs> Stumbling and bumbling over her fucking words, man. Come on. Um, and it says in there, there's no man, no woman, no Greek, no Jew. You know, just because he's a man, don't mean that he is called. He might not be willing. And if he's not willing and that woman is willing, do you think that the Lord is going to go? That's not how it works, woman. That's not how it works. So, you know, it's this like, for instance, if my phone rang and someone's calling, trying to call me, my phone rang in, right? And I'm unwilling to answer the phone. And then my wife answers the phone. <clears throat> she, you think she's just going to. Just gonna take that call and you know, hey, I know you called to speak to my husband, but I, I'll I'll do, you know, the job or whatever that you're calling for. No, that's not gonna happen. Okay, no. Who, who would do that? An envious woman, you know, a woman out of her role, and that's part of the problem. We have to find women, brothers, that understand how this life works, and understands how to not complicate things that aren't meant to be complicated most things aren't complicated you know it's real simple and if you you got a, a girl and you know she's all out in a bag of chips she look nice whatever you know and you really want to take it to the next level dude if she if she if she doesn't respect the male principle or or not even just that if she doesn't respect the fe the feminine principle and wants to honor that then listen, keep it moving, bro. Cause you're just gonna have a whole bunch of headaches, a whole bunch of headaches, man. Okay, and then don't nobody got time for that. Just keep it moving. We we have to do a better job of figuring out who the first of all figure out who the fuck you are as a man. All right, come come into to the knowledge of that first, and then, and then that means next, figure out. You know. What type of woman are you dealing with? Because if that woman doesn't, you know, align with with your your views, your values, and your morals, then not it's not going to work. 
You don't have to try to, to force it. You know, you don't have to try to force a square peg into a triangle shaped uh, opening. You know, it's not going to fit. So, you know, we don't, we don't have to overcomplicate it. If, if that's the case, just say, you know what, we could be quote unquote friends. <laughs> you know what that means. Or, you know, hey, that, that, like that's it. But it's not going to work. Um, and, and that, that's it. You know, you find someone and, and you keep on going till you find a woman who understands it and gets it, you know, and, and doesn't just say it. She actually gets it, you know, and, and make sure that she's not, you know, batshit crazy or coming from a crazy ass broken home, you know, where she, you know, but if she is coming from a broken home, then obviously you probably know because she won't have any respect for, for the male principal at all. Um, but if you're listening to a video like this, and you will subscribe to this channel and channels like it, then I'm sure that, you know, y'all, y'all be fine. It's everyone else, you know? So that's another reason why I ask for y'all to, you know, share, like, and subscribe is that way, you know, we can get the message out to the dudes that don't know no fucking better. To the, like, I guarantee you right now, somewhere in this, in this country, <clears throat> fuck in a country, in this state that I'm in right now, in this state, guarantee you somewhere there, there's a guy fucking up his life right now with, with, with a woman with a woman that he should not be with okay guaranteed guaranteed but you know we gotta we gotta get the word out man but the, the kingdom did, did he's you know, gonna you stop you should not answer my question for the sake of helping relationships to work you know how many men are freaking dead or in prison because of some shit that happened over a woman you know, it's 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 a lot, man. It's a lot, and a lot of and a lot of those men that I'm talking about, dead or in prison. I'm, obviously, I'm talking about quote unquote black men. It's a lot. You know, it's a damn shame. But when you, you don't know no better, you can't do no better. So, you know, they get caught up with the wrong female. They, you know, they think they in love, or whatever, doing some bullshit with some Jezebels. And then they all get all fucked up. You know, they get their emotions involved, get their feelings hurt. And then next thing you know, they maybe they're killing somebody or they're getting killed. Or they're killing her. You know, so, yeah, we, we have to move better. You know, you we can't allow ourselves to fall at the hand of, of a woman. You know, we cannot. You cannot. Mm -hmm. Is there anywhere in the scriptures where it says God called women to be preachers and pastors and reverends and all those things. Is that scripture? If so, where? No, no. But he it's also said, there? if he didn't say oh, it you for said no, either. it's not in the Bible? It's, added, it's nowhere specific where he said, you have specific. to be a certain gender. No, no, no. That's what I'm saying. You're That's saying, not my question, though. But you're saying if there is a this, 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 this is not in the Bible. This nowhere. Is the it's not in the Bible. Right? It's not in the Bible okay, for no so particular then person. Why, uh, why are women doing it and why are the husbands allowing it to happen if they are men of God? Why are they allow Exactly, that's the question. If you're a quote unquote fucking pastor, then you should already know this. This is basic, this is elementary, basic. But yet these men, quote unquote pastors, are co pastoring a lot with these women. You see it all the time on like YouTube and on the gospel channels and shit, and it's crazy. It's like, look. If, a, if, if I went to a church and it was, and it was ran by a co-pastorship and it was a, a, a man and, it, and his wife, get the fuck. I'm, I'm not going to that church. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to that fucking church. Then that nigga can't lead me to shit. You know what I'm saying? Actually, he can lead me to shit. That's the only thing he can lead me to is shit. All right? Because if, he, if he's following a woman or, or if he thinks that she can teach the Bible, then he, that mean he doesn't know the Bible of which he speaks of. You know, period. And I mean, he's a phony, he's a fake, he's a facade. All right, he needs to get, get, get removed. There's no room for that shit, man. All this, all this lies and shit to make people fucking feel good about their ego. That's not, that's not how the Bible works. The Bible is not, doesn't work like that, all right? The, the Bible is full of, you know, the truth. And, you know, like that, that's it. And that's just pretty much how life is. It's just, it is and it, and it ain't, you know? There's no like, oh well, uh, I could do this because you know it make me feel good, or because men could do this and then like, nah. The, the Bible is no place and and um for um for, for for shit like that, you know the social justice fucking um movement, like it's it's it's, 
it's cr- it's just crazy to me, man. And then the people that follow it, you know, you got, that's how you. But that's how you know, like this quote unquote religion shit is is it's all bullshit, man. These people don't know what the fuck they're 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 teaching about the Bible. A lot of these um, quote unquote preachers and pastors, what they are like quote unquote self help gurus and poverty pimps. That's all they fucking are. That's all they are. I do a better job of preaching on my YouTube channel to my sixty subscribers than these niggas do. You know what I'm saying? At least I'm 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 giving you fucking solutions. I'm giving you scenario real life scenarios and offering you um different ways that you can tackle tackle things. I I'm exposing the the freaks to geeks and all the in-betweens out here. Alright? I'm not giving I'm not filling your head up with a whole bunch of platitudes and cliches and telling you, oh, it's gonna be alright. You know what I'm saying? And then, you know, make sure you pay pay the tie, pay the tie. Like, no, nah, I'm not doing none of that bullshit, man. Not doing none of that. You know? And like it's just a whole facade, all of that bullshit, man. It's big business, but that's that's nothing new. All the weapons to do things that God didn't ask them to do or made it possible for them to do. Because when men, when when the Lord said that men are the head, He said over the household. He didn't say that. No, he didn't, bitch. <laughs> Yo, stop saying that. He never said that. That's that's not what he said. Okay, the husband is is the head over the wife. That's that's what the fuck he said. It, over the over the home, it like you said, over that. the wife, as over you say, wife, over yeah. the mm-hmm. over the over, you know, over the household. No, the, I mean, the, the house. I keep saying household. Yeah. The wife right. and over, you know, the kids are. <laughs> but wait, so man, how, what is he in the Bible the where women are called to be pastors? Why is it happening? Because, willing, like yeah. I saw, like the Bible said. Is like that. I'm. I'm gonna stick to the word, bro, because it's it's like. But that's not in the word. Wait a minute. Listen, to what I'm saying. I ain't. I ain't gonna be argumental. No, no, no. I'm, not, not, I'm, I'm not trying to get some answers. You got. I ain't gonna be argumental. <laughs> of course not. You just him. I mean, like, come on, man. I can't respect you. You, you let your woman talk for you, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Don't give me the answer. No. So I'm, I'm not, trying to I'm just make sure I'm clear. Because that ain't. Because that's, that's not, not in the Bible. Listen, Why is that happening? Not, that's not what we do, and that's not what I'm here for. Okay, um, what I'm saying is this: through our call, through our call to do this this work that we do, whether it's male or female, if God called you, He's gonna anoint you to do it, no matter if you're male or female. And I've seen some women pastors that's on fire for God, and it's making an end. They're on fire for Lucifer, man. They're Luciferian. That's what the fuck they are. Okay, that's what that is. Pack, and it's not because, oh wow, you know, uh, I gave them a chance. You and men didn't give women. So you're chances. not answering it's the not. question. You said it's not scripture. Why is it happening? It's happening because if God called them, they are gonna do what God said. God's not calling. No matter them. what, no There's matter no what, that God is calling. Them. Exactly. God ain't calling. Them. God ain't calling. Them. Lucifer's calling them. Just like just like he did in the Garden of Eden. That's it. Okay, and and then the suckers that want to sit there and, and be like, oh yeah, yeah, and go on along with it and follow them, y'all being just like Adam in the Garden of Eden. It's that simple. Excuse me. Yeah. You gotta have a relationship. Okay, so let me ask this way: uh, in order for a woman to be a pastor, a preacher, a reverend, or whatever they are, they will have to be the head over men in churches, right? Would God ever put the woman as the head of man? In a church. Yes. Well, my thing is, and what I have... No, and no one cares a fuck about what your thing is. Look, brothers, at the end of the day, this dude is a simp. This is what a simp looks like. I mean, and don't get me wrong, simps come in many different shapes and sizes and forms, okay? But this is one example of a simp, all right? A huge simp. He can't even say that he's the head of his fucking wife, okay? He And, and like, what, like, I mean, he can't even say it, obviously, meaningful, but he can't even say it on the sake of just being on on this show and moving on to the next fucking question. He he can't even say that. He's a simp, and she runs him. That's the reality of it, you know. And it's fucking it's pathetic. It's pathetic, man. And you know what? Y'all simps out there, y'all give it the fuck y'all deserve. Y'all niggas need to wake up. The experience mm-hmm. is that I believe that I you know when 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 there is a couple. I believe, and if that's a man of God, allow him to be the man of God in the head. Mm-hmm. Now, if there is no one there, 
and, and that is a woman of God that is is doing what God is telling her to do. And t- if, if there's a woman and there's no one there, and the, and the woman's doing what God's telling her to do, then that means that obviously she's looking over her family and um, looking over her kids. That that's what that would mean. Not trying to run around and be something that she's not. So okay, so that like that's that's the point. To preach the gospel, um, to speak the word, to to speak life into people. You know, I you know I can't say whether yay or nay is that right or wrong. So would God ever put women, the head over men in a church? I'm not the judge. Is there any way the scriptures where he said he would do that? It's, it's, what are you saying to that question? It's, it's like this. Would God ever whoever, put women in the, whoever, as a head of men in a church? God will yes put no? whoever he want, whether well, it's male or female, whoever he want. Is that scripture? I'm not going to debate on that, sir. <laughs> but you the, I brought preachers in okay. so that you guys can help me to help the folks. I'm finished. We, we got I'm to, finished. We, we, finished have to we have to stick and we have to yeah. stay on a firm foundation. Exactly. And That's the reason why do. I don't touch certain things because it's not my place. God mm-hmm. does things and I don't get in that. I can't tell you why on certain things. I let God deal with that. She's full of shit because if the Bible said that women could teach the Bible and be preachers and pastors, she would have brought that shit up real fast, real quick. And that's my point. These people, they play games. They act like, oh, I'm not going to speak on it. I'm not going to. Look, look, if there was anything in that Bible that said so, you would in a heartbeat. In a heartbeat. So, like, don't fall for the bullshit. Let's not play games about this. You know, like, let's just be real call it what it is. That's not my place. I do what God called me to do. And I stay in my lane with that, with what God but tells me. I can me tell you that God doesn't do that. God, God doesn't. doesn't put women over men. He's okay. not going to change his order okay. of God and Christ, Christ and man, man over right. woman. Right. And just because women want to do it, that doesn't mean we have to accept it as being the right thing. And their husbands should not allow their wife to do it because he is the Christ. And by him allowing his wife to do something like that, he's not protecting his wife from evil. He's allowing that order to be broken. Exactly. See, he's, I'm telling you, man, sometimes Jesse be, he be firing, man, I'm telling you. And he's hitting it right on the head. Hitting it right on the head. You know, as a man, it's your responsibility to not allow that shit to happen. Now, if you're in a relationship where you can't uh, step up, speak up, then, brother, you are a fucking simp. Period. There's no way around it. And I'm not sitting here saying, again, that you need to be, you know, uh, you know, overbearing to your wife and shit like that and you know like oh you know have her underneath your fucking thumb i'm not saying that at all you know what i'm saying like my wife I, she is not underneath my thumb you know i like i uh, i don't tell her what to do per se well, eh, for the most part i don't because I, I don't have to you know what i'm saying because we already have this understanding of our roles so if she ever did anything that was out out of pocket or out of her role then obviously, you know, I'm going to address it, you know, like like I do, and and it's that simple, you know. But I'm I'm not over here like oh you know she's my fucking my servant or my this that and the third and you know like no nah, not at all man, that's not how it is, you know we are, um complementary to one another, all right. So I need her just as much as she needs me, you know to 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 live this life. Uh, the way that we're supposed to, okay, uh, and I I appreciate and respect my role and her role and likewise for her, and that's just what it comes down to, you know. And, and that's why it's not in the scriptures because it's not of God. Mm-hmm. You know, a lot. I'm a, and I will give you um, this much. I do believe that there is an outer order that is happening in the body of Christ. Right. I do believe that it because you know why and and but I think the way Christ is doing things, he still got to push the kingdom because what's happening is he's getting a lot of the men out of place. He's 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 attacking the 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 men. I noticing that yeah, the women I noticing a lot of women not, not, uh, of pastors that are beginning to come. Where is the men? Where are the men because that are raising these women doing this? Is not and the just men to just stop them. Where are they in the household? Right. Yeah, exactly, Jesse. But look, but you see how she's trying to blame men, though. <laughs> you see that, though. 
Yo, she's trying to blame men. Uh, oh my god. Hey, same thing. See, it starts there. Don't think it starts in the church. It's not. It started out. It start when the first church, when we started, was at home with our family. Yes. That's where he was the first pastor, was in the household. Do you agree yeah. with me, Anita, that when the father, the husband is weak in the home? It's, it's funny she says that. The first church started in the household. She said, where are the men? Um, so she's saying that her husband was the pastor of her household. And so if we're going to use that as like, you know, like a metaphor and just, you know, make it larger, then obviously uh, that's the order that she understands and respects. Then obviously that order needs to go from household to household and then um, from there to the church. So then how will she sit here and say that female pastors are okay? Hmm. The children, the wives end up screwing up the children. Depending on when, depending on, are they a follower of Christ? I don't, I don't, both ways. Okay, if, because. If he, is a, if he is a man of God, but he's weak, the wife still screw up the children. If he's not a man of God and we. The wife, he's installing them children. It, it's nurturing or whatever. In Christ, they ain't weak, no way. I'm asking no, you another kind of question. Weak. Do no you, matter how the way you put it, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to be when the man, man we, the uh, children grew up the parent, I'm, children. Not gonna be, I'm not going to be, I'm not going to be, it's not an argument we have a discussion. Met, I'm the one met with this because you, I see what, where you at, you know, and I know where I'm at. You where here am I? To, you here to ask questions to right. get us riled up. No, I'm not. For, for I'm, I'm trying to get no, answers and families are falling apart. We're not, we're not. Like you just said, the men are weak. Hold on a minute, hold on a minute. We not we not here for that. And Jesse said like nigga said the men are weak. Jesse talking about this nigga across from him. And this nigga don't even get it. <laughs> okay. This is what we here for. We here to push the kingdom of God. That's what we here for. But that's so, what we're um, talking wait about. Wait a minute. Hold up, brother. We here to push the, the kingdom of God. All right. Now we sitting here, we asking you asking us questions, we asking, we're not gonna get hostile about it, because that's not what we do. That's not representing the kingdom of God. Okay. And we here as kingdom representative right now. Do you? And I, and I, and I, because I, of I, time, I, hold on, hold on, wait a minute, no, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. But Real I fast. do actually, no, you, you, you on my time now. Okay. Real fast. No, you on my time. What, what? Oh, the simp putting his foot down. Uh oh. Yeah. So what I'm saying is this, I'm sitting here and we sitting here, we answering um, questions that you have. But the only thing we saying is we gonna be selective on what we answer and how we do things so because we are kingdom representative. We not gonna sit here and let the enemy flush us out and try to make us look a certain way on TV. We not gonna do that because we still represent the kingdom. Okay, Our father's that. watching. You right. understand what I'm saying? I got that. Because so, we kingdom. So let me ask okay. you. We have ten minutes left here. Let what is this nigga talking about? Right? <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, do you believe that human beings are in a fallen state? Yeah. All right, well, anyway, that's it on that. Um, don't be a simp. That nigga's a simp. Um, you have to you have to find the right woman. You know, it's, it's that simple. You know, know who you are, know the fuck you stand for, and then, you know, the, the rest is easy. It's just like finding pieces to a puzzle and put, put, putting, putting them where they belong. It's that simple. And if you pick up the piece and it don't fit, it don't fit. Put it to the side. That's it. But, all right, man. Until next time, y'all.